Hey guys, what's up? This is Max Day. It's me once again. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I'm going to be headed back to my place, but first I'm going to be seeing the color purple. Um, yeah, who knows what's going to happen this year um, in terms of, you know, the year. Year's just, uh, they're just completely unpredictable. So, yeah, the fact that, that I spent the entire year last year um, making uh, a, a new vlog series. So, yeah, I'm going to continue it. Uh that's just one of those sprayer things, uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, yeah, on to the vlog. So, I'm back at home, and I originally was gonna see the color purple, but there's just been so much on my mind. Because the year just started, it just had me, it just has me thinking about, uh, all the main goals I want to accomplish. Like, I'm still trying to get down to a certain weight, so I won't really have to do it as much any anymore, because, uh, I have so many other girls I want to accomplish this year. I'll I'll try to see the color purple next week, um, but of course I'm going to see Night Swim first. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just I I wasn't really in much of a mood. I mean, it, it's a musical, and you know, musicals are supposed to lighten up the mood for films, unless you're not a fan of musicals. But it just uh, I wasn't really in much of a mood today, so. But I'll still try to see it when I can because it's doing really well. So chances are it's not going to leave anytime soon. Well, here's to my first visit to the gym this year. So um, I'm, I'm playing more of the uh, Mario RPG remake. And then I got something in the mail. This. This is a plush replica of uh, Chattermax from, uh, from Bluey. It's uh, basically like the real thing, only not as crazy. Um, but yeah, it, it it talks. So yeah, it's kind of like the other talking plushies. Oh, and here's the best part. It can record your voice and say it back to you. So, watch. Okay, so you press it down on stomach, like this, and then. Hey guys, what is up? This is Chattermax once again. Welcome back to another Bluey episode review. So yeah, it kind of it kind of sounds regular, but yeah, I wonder what else I can get it to say. Hmm, maybe I could recite uh, another Bluey quote. Coconuts have water in them. Coconuts have water in them. Oh my God, I think I think Chattermax just ate muffin. So yeah, I have no idea where to put this because I have more stuff. Like, I literally got more stuff not too long ago. Like this, for example. It's a sphere ball pillow thing of Bluey's head. I know, I don't really need this, but why did I get it? Well, the answer is very simple. It's spherical. SPHERICAL! I guess I'll just show you uh, the resemblance. So this is the regular Chatter Max plush, the one that doesn't talk, and it's just like those plush toys right there. And here is the uh, big Chatter Max. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it uh, it definitely looks bigger. It, they, they look the same, but they're both bigger. Plus, if you turn around, it has the battery pack. So shut up, Chatter Max. I'm, I'm trying to speak here. Uh, 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 I don't want to get copyright for that. So I'm going to be seeing Night Swim tonight. Uh, first uh, first movie of the year that I'm going to be seeing. It's a PG-13 horror film. So uh, yeah, that has me a little nervous. And again, Megan was really good. So yeah, but I haven't seen any critics reviews yet. So that's not really a good sign. But just have to wait to see what happens. In the meantime, I have to take a break from Mario RPG because another game from Gamefly came in the mail. And I think it's I think it's one that I can actually beat because it has no combat whatsoever. It's uh, Detective Pikachu Returns. Uh, I, I haven't heard anyone talk about this game that much. Um, because the first game, from what I've heard, was alright. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the movie was good, but... Yeah, I, I haven't actually played the first game. I'm just playing the second game because um, 
I don't know. I just I I, I just feel like adding more games uh, to my uh I just want to play some games from Gamefly that won't make me, you know, furious when I play them because they're so frustrating, so badly frustrating that I just don't want to play them anymore. Or games that are just, you know, too frustrating, good, but too frustrating for me, like uh, Sonic uh, Superstars. But yeah, hopefully I can get through this one. You know, I just thought of something. Um, at the end of the first attempt at Pikachu, Tim, uh, didn't ever, if you've seen the, the movie Detective Pikachu, you'll know at the end, spoiler alert, that it turned out that, uh, Tim's dad was inside Pikachu all along. Is that gonna happen, uh, did that happen at the end of this game, or is there, I don't know, because I feel like that's, I feel like because of the movie, we all know that now, because it doesn't have the same ending as the first game, because, yeah, I, I'm, 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 that's just one thing that I'm thinking to myself. I guess I'll know if I do beat the game. Or hell, I could just look it up right now, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not really too curious about that. Well, Night Slim wasn't anything special. On the bright side though, I lost six more pounds. So it's been five months since I first started working out again, so in total I have lost, I believe, 83 pounds. I never thought I would make it this far. I'm pretty much almost at where I was back in 2015. I mean, hell, I think I'm starting to outgrow this shirt too, and this is a large. Yeah, this is, this is definitely, I don't even know how to put it, but this is, well, you should pretty much know what I was, what I'm pretty much trying to say here. Also, I think I might be seeing the color purple today. Um, yeah, you know what? Just for that, I, I'll, I'll see the color purple. I'm in a better mood now, knowing that I lost more weight, because I really wasn't in that much of a good mood uh, when I was planning on seeing the movie. So, yeah. All right, so I finished up uh, Detective Pikachu Returns. It was all right, um, but it's very easy to get through. All you have to do is just uh, click on stuff just to continue on with the story and there are questions that uh, you can easily uh, that you can easily get wrong but you just got to keep clicking them until it tells you you got the right answer and you could always look up a walkthrough but it's honestly just faster if you do that so yeah I feel like in terms of Pokemon spinoffs there are definitely better ones um, like I recommend new Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Legends Arceus in terms of Pokemon spinoffs on this on the switch but and that thing about, uh, you know, it having a similar ending to the movie, yeah, um, it pretty much tells you much early on that, uh, that your dad, that, uh, Tim's dad is inside Pikachu's body, so, uh, pretty much it tells you, like, a, like, a few hours before the ending, so that's a slight difference, I guess, but, yeah. You know, I appear once in a while in your videos, so it might be possible that I might be your dad, too. Oh, really? Well, if that's the case, if you were really my dad, what did you do when I told you that I got into Bluey? Oh, that is extremely easy. I kicked you in the balls and told you to grow the hell up. Nope. He got into it too, got some Bluey-themed decorations for his yard, and threw me a Bluey-themed birthday party, and is super excited for the new episodes coming out as well. Why did I get captured by man-children? So I didn't watch the Golden Globe Awards last night. I usually do, but I just I just decided not to because they're not uh, quite as big as the Oscars, but they're still a pretty big awards ceremony. Um, but I, I did look at the list of winners. Oppenheimer won Best Motion Picture Drama. Uh, excellent, uh, excellent pick since that was my favorite film of the year. And The Boy and the Heron won Best Animated Film. I honestly thought that was going to go to Spider-Man because that's the biggest animated film to come out uh, last year. But it's great to know that they... That they care so deeply, so much about uh, non-big related. Pro I mean, Ghibli is a big company, but you know they don't really, they don't really usually, they usually don't choose uh, anime films as the winners. There was only one anime film uh, to win uh, the Oscars uh, for best animated film, uh, which was Spirited Away. But because uh, because um, because this movie won a uh, uh, best animated film, it's possible that it might win the Oscar for best animated film. Uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up because, uh, you know, but usually that's an indication that it's also going to win uh, Best Animated Film as well. But, you know, 
because Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio beat out, you know, Puss in Boots, Last Wish, and Turning Red, but who knows, um, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm still really happy that Oppenheimer won, too, because, uh, yeah, and, uh, um, but yeah, a lot of really good winners, so hopefully there'll be some good picks, uh, to, uh, so hopefully there'll be some well-deserved wins, uh, for, um, for the Oscars, so, um, yeah, but, um, Anyways, I've been watching Mean Girls for the first time because the new movie's coming out and I'm going to be seeing it with a friend, so, uh, yeah, um, really enjoying it so far. Um, I've only seen the beginning, like, the first five minutes and I didn't really watch anything after that, but, uh, yeah. I also heard there was a straight-to-video sequel, which I'm not going to be watching because, uh, well, what's the point? <laughs> there really is no point if, uh, you know, the first one's really that matters, but hopefully the this new musical adaptation will be good as well. I'm hoping, anyway. Not gonna get my hopes up, because we're still in January, but, you know, <laughs> still, even though there were some good January releases last year, it's still, um, sometimes it doesn't always make it clear that every single movie in January is gonna be good now, but we'll just have to wait and see. So I was able to finish up uh, Mario RPG, or at least the main, uh, story. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's another one off my list. Um, I also did, uh, get a new, uh, copy of, uh, Mario Odyssey. I didn't buy it, it was given to me because, uh, yeah, but, uh, so yeah, don't need to worry about that anymore. I'm just trying to figure out what I should play because, uh, there's a lot of, uh, games over here that I haven't, uh, played yet. Like, I never got to play, um, It Takes Two, um, mainly just due to the fact that, uh, that requires another player. I mean, uh, I could play, uh, like, uh, over here, I could play Guardians of the Galaxy, but I don't know, I heard it was supposed to be pretty good, but I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just waiting till I, like, f truly feel like playing it. Um, I could play Gran Turismo 7, but that requires a lot of data space, so, or I could play Godfall, because, uh, it was five bucks, but I heard, uh, mostly, uh, Mostly negative things about it. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out here. Um, I was honestly thinking about just playing Skyrim again because that's a game I never finished. But I should... I don't know. Plus, I still have my Gamefly subscription. And I'm trying to rent games that are actually pretty decent. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm still waiting for that Elden Ring DLC. It's been announced, but it's we never got to see a trailer for that. So, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out here because... You know, I have a day, I have another day off, so it's just one of those occasions where I feel like playing another game, but, you know, because, uh, you know, with PlayStation 5 uh, using up a lot of data, I don't want to play the game, then get stuck, and then, uh, you know, think about whether or not I wanted to just delete the game, because I'm never going to be able to finish it, but, but, yeah, but, I don't know, I'm just going to have to think to myself, because, uh, yeah, I have a lot of, quite a bit of uh, games I could play, so, uh, yeah, I was just, Ah, uh, it's it's really hard to to think about it. So I was just gonna play Skyrim, but there's like 14 minutes left till it's done updating. I'm not sure why it needs to update because it's an old game, but I'm doing something in the meantime. I'm playing Bluey Monopoly Junior. Oh, but that's okay. I got the perfect friend to play with me. Bluey herself. Even though she's just a toy. Better than nothing, I guess. You're feeling peckish for some spring rules. Advance to take away. If no one owns it, get it for free. Otherwise, pay rent to the owner. Ah, you owe me three dollar bucks. Alright, so I'm going to be seeing Mean Girls today. Um, I know it was, uh, it's probably kind of weird that I'm seeing Mean Girls before Beekeeper since Beekeeper would seem more like my type of film. But uh, there, there's a reason why I'm seeing Mean Girls first. Um, the Beekeeper I'll probably see um, maybe Wednesday. I know that's a little bit, but I'm, I'm in no rush to see it. Um, so yeah, there hasn't been any like major movie to come out that I'm like super hyped for. I mean, I am looking forward to this movie and Beekeeper. It's just, I don't know, there hasn't been any movie coming out this month. To, like uh, get me super hyped because well it's January but you know uh, the bigger movies are definitely gonna be uh, somewhere later this year so but yeah I'm just seeing them just to get them off my list but I'm, I'm looking forward to Mean Girls so yeah I'll see how it turns out all right so Mean Girls um it was pretty good 
Though, um, here's what to expect, okay? Expect the same movie, just with songs. I'm not saying it's bad, like I said before, I, I, I like the movie, it's just... You know, if I was if I was to watch it again, I would probably just watch the 2004, unless I'm in a musical mood. And it hit me that there have been so many musicals coming out the past month. Wonka, The Color Purple, this, all of them are playing right now. Like, you could see all those in the theater right now. So yeah, that's impressive. Now, tomorrow... I am going to be seeing the first theatrical uh, release of Soul, um, Pixar's Soul. It's finally going to be released on the big screen. I never thought it would actually happen. I mean, we all did think it would happen, but then the pandemic hit, and we had to just watch it during Christmas time at home, which was a painful experience for me because my family was just talking, having conversations while I was trying to watch the movie. That's why theatrical experiences will always be better than streaming. But wait a minute, I really shouldn't be going to see the movie because obviously I don't like the movie because I didn't give it a 5 out of 5. Yeah, apparently a lot of people complained because I gave the movie 4.5 out of 5. What? And people were just, like, just so upset. Some, one person even thought that it was that it was so harsh of me to just give it a four and a half. Just, like, <laughs> it's pretty much why I made the Pikachu Disney hater thing skit. But because Disney hasn't been getting the best reputation recently, then... Yeah, but that's pretty much why, just in response to the people that were just complaining because of the, you know, the fact that I haven't given recently massively acclaimed Disney movies perfect scores. Hey, <laughs> but... Let, let me remind you that IGN gave Soul a 7 out of 10, so that's pretty much like a 3.5 out of 5. So, go complain about it to them. Though I'm sure a lot of people have. Because, you know, IGN, you know, <laughs> pretty much just see them as jokes. So, yeah. But hey, it's very dark in here. Why don't I add in some light? Hold on. Yeah, there we go. You probably can't see that, but that's my, whoa, that's my new blue light that I got for Christmas. Oh yeah, that is, that is beautiful. Yeah, I can change the different colors. Yeah. Woo. So yeah, you can't call her bluey, now she's purpley, or pinky, or yellowy, or, <laughs> I don't know, I'm having way too much fun with this. Yep, the experience on the big screen was way better than the experience first watching it at home. Sure, it was during Christmas time, but movies like this, they were made to be on the big screen. Like, with all the colors and stuff, it looks absolutely outstanding and makes me wish that they did that from the very start. And, uh, unlike at home, where there was multiple people, uh, I saw it by myself. And there was literally no people, which is kind of sad Be, well I mean you can I mean it, it, it's it's kind of understandable but still it has me worried about the fate of Pixar if we don't get a movie that's even better than this soul I have questions about humanity and what it's becoming now or at least questions about Disney and what it's becoming now uh, but, yeah. But yeah, definitely a much better experience. I was actually able to think about what's going on in the movie and not just, like, be, being able to just, like, trying to just get all the pictures in my head because I barely heard a thing while watching the movie while people were at home because they weren't even watching the movie. They were just having conversations. So, yeah, theatrical events will always be better than streaming. Same with physical media. So I know I skipped out on uh, mentioning uh, Martin Luther King Day. Uh, I don't know why, but happy belated Mar Martin Luther King Day. It was crazy at work, despite the fact that it's it's been it's it's been snowing a little bit. I mean, it did snow a lot, but the snow started off just uh, you know uh, vanishing on the ground, and then later started sticking. But uh, 
it's not a whole lot of snow like we were hoping. Um, that's why I didn't really show it because it's uh, not really that exciting. But and the, I, and yes, you notice that I'm at my old house, but it's it, it's a long story. It's because I I'm I'm, I'm going to be going somewhere, so that's why I was uh, I'm staying here uh, for the day. But I'll I'll be back later this afternoon. So, um, I finally went and saw the, uh, beekeeper today. It was alright. It, uh, if you're into cheesy, like, 80s, 90s action films, then it might be her cup of tea. As for me, it, it was what I expected, but it's not something that I'm really gonna remember in the next three years or so. But anyways, I got, a, another game from, uh, Gamefly, and it's a game that's actually supposed to be really good, Armored Core 6. I do not expect to beat this game because, for one, it's by From Software. I mean, it's, uh, this series isn't quite as difficult as uh, the Soul series. Then again, I was man I, I managed to beat almost all their games in terms of the Soul series. Well, I did beat all the Souls games. I didn't beat Sekiro because I don't really count that as a Souls game, but, yeah. I really want to play that new uh, Prince of Persia game because I've heard really good things about it. And it's not even out yet and it already got a good amount of praise from it. And, uh, uh, uh oh. The, uh, what is it? The, the address, the return address is ripping off, so I better be careful with that. So I'm not even close to being done with this game and I already kind of gave up on it. Now, look, this game's actually really fun, but it's just one of those games where it just kind of goes a little too overboard with the difficulty. And this isn't like uh, Dark Souls, where you can just grind out your character. I mean, you can get upgrades, but but I feel like I'm just rushing through this game because it's a rental game. I feel like if I bought it, I could take more of my time with the game, but I'm at a part where there are these like enemies that just disappear and, and reappear and I'm trying to fight this other enemy. It, it was it was quite difficult for me. I just I just don't really have time to like try to fully just get into it, especially since I have a strict schedule now with uh, work and working out because I'm still on that weight loss thing. Just yeah, but I don't know. I really wanted to get more into it, but it's it's just uh, I, look. I think it's a good game. I think it's a really good game. It's just. It's just, it's one of those games where I really shouldn't rush through it, but because it's a rental game, I have been rushing through it, and it's just, I just, I, sometimes I feel like the game can be more frustrating than fun, and sometimes, uh, and frustration, just, it, it, I don't know, it's complicated. I wanted to get more into it, but I just really couldn't. Alright, so, I lost three more pounds this week, still making some pretty good progress, and um, after work, I picked up uh, Prince of Persia and the Lost Crown, or the Lost Crown, there's no and. Um, but yeah, looking forward to playing this. And I got this in the mail. Ooh, I wonder what this bag would be. Ooh. This is something that I actually didn't expect I would get, like, super early. I ordered this, I ordered this on Tuesday, and it wasn't from Amazon or, uh, or freaking uh, eBay or anything like that. This is actually from... Uh, costume uh, cosplay store and they said they usually ship it within like 10 or no, no, no 15 25 business days but this came in like three days and this all right Ooh boy what this could be <laughs> well i said cosplay so might as well put this thing on Voila. That's right. Link from Breath of the Wild. I'm going to be completely honest. I think this costume actually might be a little too small. Because it took me like three minutes to put the gloves on each. But, um, I don't know. And the hair, the hair honestly kind of reminds me of David Bowie from Labyrinth a little bit. It's going to be a little... <sighs> the reason I got this is for uh, Galaxy Con this year. But, you know, because of the amount of weight I've been losing, I'm thinking that uh, I might be able to get uh, more of this off before Galaxy Con. I mean, the pants are pretty tight, but uh, I'm already, like, outgrowing the pants that I've been wearing. Like, uh, they've been, like, 
I've been shrinking so fast, so yeah, also the glare, I'm just, uh, hold on, uh, it's kind of hard to, but yeah, uh, the tunic and everything, it was a little hard for me to get on, um, but, yeah, it came with the Sheikah slate and, uh, everything, so, yeah, but it still looks pretty good, it also came with the, the ears, so that was pretty cool as well, um, it didn't come with boots, but that's okay, if I were to use this costume, I would just use the boots for my other costume, uh, since I haven't worn that costume since I went to, uh, Otakon. But, uh, yeah, I still think this looks really cool. I'm gonna try my best to lose as much weight as possible. If I don't lose it by then, then, uh, I can always just exchange this, but I don't think I'll have to. Um, besides, if these pants don't work, I, don't, I can always get another pair because they're basically just, like, regular pants. Uh, so, yeah, plus they have the, the belt things and whatever, so, but yeah, I am pretty proud of the way this looks. You see this jacket right here? Yep, it does not fit me anymore. Yeah, I cannot believe I was actually this big. Like, I, I, I don't know, I think this might be a 2XL, but yeah. I just got back from the gym. I feel like I have more energy than ever because I burned way more calories than I ever did on a treadmill. I did like 18, uh, no, 180 calories for 15 minutes. So yeah, I went to the gym and I've been playing Prince of Persia, uh, the new game. I've been having a pretty fun time, though Ubisoft um, just stated that you know, gamers might should not be buying physical copies of their games anymore, or any video game anymore. <laughs> like it's, like it shouldn't, like it should stop entirely. Yeah, well, guess what, Ubisoft? I bought your game on disc because it's an option. I don't want to have to buy the game if I have the option to download it or buy it physically. I'm going to buy it physically. I'll only buy the game digitally if I have to, but no, I bought the game on disc because physical media will always matter. So tonight I'm seeing a re-release of Cowboy Bebop the movie. It's going to be really, really exciting seeing Cowboy Bebop on the big screen. And here's the thing, the physical version, like the Blu-ray version of that movie is kind of hard to find. So it's interesting going to be seeing that on the big screen. I remember when Walmart had those Blu-ray bargain bins. I would always see that movie in there, but I, I didn't get into anime yet. So, yeah, I really should have because now it went from being eight bucks to a hundred bucks. But yeah, speaking of physical media, um, I'm gonna be going to my mom's place and I, um, I ordered a package that's gonna be delivered over there just in case I leave a little too early. So, um, but. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the 4K Blu-ray release of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Because I've been meaning to get that since I consider that to be the best Ninja Turtle movie. And I own the original trilogy and the 2007 film in a bundle pack. So, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I had no choice because Walmart only has the Blu-ray. So, uh, yeah. I mean, where else was I going to get it from? Best Buy? <laughs> Why, Best Buy? <laughs> I am drinking Celsius because I'm gonna work out first before I head out. Why did you do this to us, Best Buy? Oh yeah, I already heard that Walmart's getting rid of physical gaming, so... Yeah. Imagine if GameStop just got rid of games and just started selling, I don't know, like... A pencil sharpeners or something. I don't know. <laughs> just, yeah, they just have no respect for physical media. I bought this physically because it's an option. Also, I really hope Target doesn't say anything. But, but you know what? I shouldn't worry about that. Because as long as they still exist on this planet, then there's nothing to worry about. If I have to buy it on the internet, so be it. I still have other options. Alright, so the Oscar nominees came in. Uh, there are a lot of really good choices. 
Uh, of course, there were some snubs, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really satisfied with the options uh, that they have. Um, I have a feeling that maybe uh, Cillian Murphy will win Best Actor, um, and same with Oppenheimer for Best Picture, and I'm not just saying that because it's my favorite film of the year. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I did uh, manage to get uh, Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Uh, so yeah, it's a shame that, uh, you know, they just, they just want to get rid of physical media. Like, stores everywhere just want to get rid of them because, uh, they're not selling well. Uh, streaming, streaming is what matters. You know what? No, no. Streaming is not what matters because not everyone has, uh, has the money to, uh, buy every single, uh, subscription and be able to pay every month because, you know, bills are important too. So yeah, because of that, I also picked up Beetlejuice on 4K at Walmart. Uh, but yeah, it's the it's the cool stylish uh, cover with the regular uh, 4K cover underneath. I've been meaning to get this for a while, um, but it's always been a little pricey. But you know what? I just couldn't resist. It was there at Walmart, so yeah. And I'm taking this out of my new bluey backpack that I got from Walmart. I already have two more, but you know, I couldn't resist. So, yeah, you can make fun of me for still buying physical media and even owning, uh, upgrading a 4K, even though I already own, uh, these on physical media. But you know what? I want to because I will always support physical media. It's very important. It should never go away. Just, I mean, Target has been putting up a lot of vinyl records. Eh, so many places have been selling vinyl, vinyl records, and those count as physical media, so, yeah, and those are still popular, so, and everybody I know still uses, or almost everybody I know still buys physical media, I still buy physical media, I'll always continue supporting physical media, so, yeah, you cannot tell me what to do with that. Also, I should mention that the experience for Cowboy Bebop the movie on the big screen was absolutely phenomenal. It was so great seeing, uh, you know, the iconic characters on the big screen. Uh, Spike, Jet, Bay, Ed, Ayn, all those characters. It was just so great to see on the big screen. It was a lot better than uh, watching it at home. Um, and it, it was hard for me to look for it. Um, I could have, but I'm going way too long with this scene. I'm trying to make this vlog under, on, under an hour, so you get the point. I'm I'm sorry, Killian Murphy. Uh, that's uh, I keep forgetting. You know he's Irish, and Irish people usually the C always is always pronounced with uh, K, just like my friend Keen. Uh, I don't know why I keep getting that all mixed up. Oh, the lazy Lila, lazy Lila. Lazy bit sweet. So I'm going to be seeing that new sci-fi horror film. It's a horror film, right? Called ISS. Um, I'm late on this one, just like uh, with uh, Beekeeper. Haven't heard that much about it. In fact, I don't even think it made it to the top five at the box office last weekend. So, yeah, but I figured, you know, since there wasn't going to be any new major movie coming out so uh, this upcoming week, I figured I'll check this one out. So ISS was fine for what it was. Um, I did finish up uh, Prince of Persia uh, this morning. Really, really had a good time with it. Um, I posted both of my reviews uh, for ISS and uh, Prince of Persia on the same day. I don't really like uh, posting them on the same day, but uh, or posting reviews or videos, any type of videos on the same day. But since uh, since I already got uh, since I already got the game done, I might as well. But uh, right now, while I'm waiting, waiting for my next game, Flight game to come in, I want to continue playing Liza P. It's a game that I haven't actually gotten that far into yet, so I figured I probably should, uh, since it's still on Gate Pass and all. Alright, well, uh, the new game from Gamefly just came in, and it is Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Uh, yeah, I don't know what kind of game this is, um, uh... Yeah, I didn't really see any gameplay footage, so, uh, yeah. I guess while I'm waiting for that to load, I might as well try this Celsius grape flavor. 
um, because I'm about to work out. So, yeah, and usually uh, stuff like this uh, for games take quite a while uh, to to load. I'm probably not even going to play it till tomorrow. But anyway, let's try this out. Hopefully, this will taste like grape soda or something. The orange one was really good. So. Oh yeah, definitely does taste like grape soda, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with just having this and instead of regular grape soda, because, wow, this is good, yeah. So apparently, uh, while I was sleeping, I was hoping that the application for the game would be ready, but it isn't. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's still uh, trying to copy from the disc. Remember those days when every time you wanted to play a game, you just popped it in and then it would play in like just a few seconds? Now we're living in an era where when you put the game in, it has to copy uh, the, the save from the disc. And the worst part about it is it needs internet. On the bright side, though, I lost four and a half more pounds. So, yeah. I am this close to reaching my goal for 100 pounds. I'm already at 90, so I am on a roll. And it's officially been 10 years since I first started reviewing movies. I cannot believe how far I've come. Anyways, as for this Avatar game, it's not too bad, actually. It's visually impressive. Well, probably not quite as visually pre impressive as in the films, but, uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. I mean, I mean, characters, they do pretty much feel the same since they all look the same and there's not really that much development for them, but, um, also the customization for characters is pretty weak. Um, yeah, you can customize your character in the game, but, yeah, so far it's, uh... It's fair for an Avatar game. I know it's not the first Avatar game, as there was a tie-in for the movie. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's not bad. So I was at Dave & Buster's the other day uh, with a friend. And, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. And um, I picked out a prize, because I did win a lot of tickets, and it's just for a Snorlax. Well, using it in a skit, I don't know. But they do have claw machines that are actually much easier to use than regular claw machines. And what's really cool is that I did not just win one, one prize, but three prizes. And I have a good reason why I did. I got a grizzly bear, a panda bear, and a polar bear, or ice bear. And obviously this is from the show, the hit Cartoon Network show, We Bear Bears. Uh, yeah, I remember it seemed, being such a good show, being, uh, such, such a charming show about, you know, three bears, and, uh, it was, it, it was just a lot of fun. I haven't finished that show, but it, I, I just remember it being so good. Uh, but yeah, this will go perfect with my Steven Universe and Gumball Watterson plush. Though, uh, there's, a uh, I need to make quite a bit of room for my closet. I'm trying to see if I can keep them in a, in a bear stack, but... Uh, yeah, honestly, I f <laughs> it honestly looks a little bit weird now because of the way they're positioned. <laughs> uh, can I keep it up? Yeah, but I think I'm just going to have them sitting down. So I was finally able to finish up that Avatar game. It's pretty good for what it is. It's basically a first-person open-world game. Think of it like uh, Far Cry meets the Horizon series. Uh... Uh, Zero Dawn and Forbidden West, but you know, just like the movies, they don't really have any like super memorable characters. But uh, if you're playing on 60 FPS, the the world is absolutely outstanding. Like when you're flying and all that, and uh, it's a first person shooter. I should mention, and in terms of first person shooters, it's definitely better. I I would honestly say it's better than the new Call of Duty. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. Where am I at? Well, I'm at my mom's place again because well. I I can be here because, you know, sometimes I don't really like being at my new place that much. Um, speaking of which, I, I am planning on uh, finding a new place. We're actually looking for a new place right now. I like the place I'm, I'm in right now, most of it anyway. There's just something, there's just something else that I don't really want to bring up why exactly I want to 
move out again, but uh, hopefully it will be sometime, maybe in the summer, but yeah, like I said before, it wasn't a permanent place, though it's, uh, um, it's just till I uh, can, uh, well, it's a long story, but uh, yeah. Alright, well, another monthly vlog has concluded. Uh, so that whole thing I said uh, last time about, uh, uh, you know, getting another place, um, I'll probably have more updates on that soon once I know exactly uh, where I'm going to be. But, uh, yeah, I want more than just uh, a regular place. I mean, it is probably more than likely going to be a, be an apartment, but like I said, I may have more updates on that soon. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Word out.